Hello, welcome to Washingtonville Soccer Club Studios. I'm Rachel Lewinson, and I'm here with Attila Neri, Director of Coaching. Today we wanted to talk a little bit more about the Laureano Ruiz method and tell a little bit more of the backstory and why we use this method at the club. So if you can tell people um, just briefly if they don't know, who is Laureano Ruiz? Laureano Ruiz is uh, the, um, for lack of a better term, guru of uh, Spanish youth soccer. Uh, Laureano became that because he had a philosophy since the 50s to, um, to maintain a level of beautiful soccer. And then he sort of simmered that down to youth soccer, where he compelled all of his pupil, all the players under his tutelage to play beautifully. And uh, it wasn't enough to just win a game. Uh, you had to win a game playing beautifully. You had to play a game by entertaining, even if just your family came to the game, your family members. Uh, you, have to, you had to uh, show beauty. You had to show imagination. You had to show skill. You had to show your talent. And all of these put together then contributed to a great victory, if victory came. However, once you did all these things, but you ended up losing, it still did not diminish from your outing that day because you have given all, you have entertained the crowd, and the other team, when you're, when you're a youth player, they throw the ball into the net, they were all happy they won the game, but you played better. So this is the mentality who Laureano Ruiz is. Um, besides this, he has won seven national titles in Spain. Uh, some coaches in a lifetime never win one. He has won seven. And he has done it with smaller clubs as well, not just with Barcelona youth teams. He has done it with uh, Real Racing Santander uh, three times. And uh, he developed such players as the Helguera brothers, Ivan de la Peña, uh, Cristo Stojko when he arrived in, in, in Spain, and many, many, many more who, um, who have become great stalwarts of Spanish football and of course captains of, of Real Madrid and Barcelona and so on. He has also coached Barcelona, F FC Barcelona in 1976 and uh, from then on he just said that's it I'm going back to youth soccer and uh, has been creating players ever since. Okay. And how and when did you get involved with Laureano? I have gotten involved with Laureano many, many years ago. Um, I can't recall the year, but um, he extended a hand after one of my injuries and said, okay, come and, and, and coach in, uh, with me in, in Santander. And of course, I arrived there, uh, like every new coach, every young coach trying to change the world and, and win and win at all costs. And um, I became baptized into, into this method that um, winning is just not good enough. Winning is, is, is okay because obviously everybody wants to win the game, but you have to win the game playing beautifully. You have to have less fouls than the other team. You have to, you have, to have respect, you have to have dedication, devotion, and you have to use the three steps. You, know, you, you, you play with the ball, you dribble, you beat an opponent, but then at the same time, you play with your teammates and you play against tremendous opponents who always wanna get in your way, take the ball, and they also wanna win and score goals. And, um, and after a while, I, I realized that the only way to go for me is, is with this method. And, um, and it's a very simple method. However, it's closely aligned with the, the psychology of the child, with the psychology of every single player, and with their physical abilities as well. And so why did you want to bring this method to the United States? Um, when I returned to the United States in 1999, um, I, uh, I was just about done with soccer, right? And, um, and I, I, I had a, actually a calm life. My life had calmed down, uh, playing golf and, and enjoying it until my neighbor took me to uh, the Washington Soccer Club to just see and help you know, with, with her daughter's team. Um, 
against the advi advice of my wife, I, I went because she said, you step on the field one more time and that's it, you'll never come home. And it's true, since 99, I have not come home and, and I re-emerged my, re re myself into, into the game. And um, um, what happened is that, that through the years, I have seen that this method is the only method and this method is a method that could be used by everyone in the united states to improve the players because the methods used here were either lacking or they were done uh, in such a manner that people got professional drills and tried to have eight-year-old children do what professionals cannot do or that um that it was just just completely out of order and, and out of sync and, and it was just nonsense. And um, this method, again, is one that everything is starts at one and goes to the next step and to the next step and to the next step and you don't proceed to the next step before the prior step is completed. And this is why it is important to have a, a methodical um, system in place at every club where all teams regardless of age practice the same way obviously the same way relevant to their age group but still in the same manner